Jungle. Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the basic tool which is pivot. Pivot table is to understand the data irrespective of small or large. I have taken a sample table for reference and this is a small data. Let us try to use the pivot table by using these data points. We have name, department and sales for the year 2019 and 2000. Now, let us select the data by using Ctrl A and click on Insert Pivot Table, which will give us a window that shows the data range and location to insert the pivot table. Here, you can select the new worksheet or existing worksheet. You do not need to give any location or select any cell for new worksheet. But for existing worksheet, you need to select a cell so that the pivot table is created. Click on Click OK once done. We have successfully created a pivot let's table. Let's the pivot table right now. So let's take the name into the rows and the sale 2009, sale 2020 into values. This will give you the sum of the sales 2019 and sales 2020 for all the people whose names are listed in the rows. So now there is something which you can also see. It says like sum of 2019 say, sales, sum of 2020, 2000 sales, that's the first thing. Secondly, coming to that, we can also try taking the department as in the rows. So instead of we get the names, we also get the department wise right now. So if you look at the screen, you have the department wise as well as sales, basis on 2019 and 2020. This is one of the categories which you can take. Now, if you would like to see, what exactly we can do? So I do not want to I do not want to write as sum of sale 2019, or it can be a different function where it can be say like average of sale 2019 something like that. So for that, what I can do is I can right click on the sale, the sum of sale 2019. Then if you look at the screen, then I can go for that and write. Or remove the sum. So I can I can just remove the total of or the name of that. If you look at that, so I'm just removing the name of the title and I'm only updating the sale 2019 as well as the sale 2020. Because most of the times what we do is whenever we are showcasing this table, it will show as it is like sum of so and so, average of so and so count of so and so. So I'm trying to do a customization of my own to make the pivot a clear one. So once I'm done with that, then probably I can try to do something else. So I'm taking a second pivot on of the same. So I've just done a copy paste of this. Now let me go ahead and take the sub category of the department which is like it can be a name it can be uh, something else it can be a sale 2019 or it can be anything else which you can say so if you see i i'm initially taking the i'm initially taking the department as well as the name sale 2019 sale 2020 over here if you look at that under under department itself i'm getting the name which again i need to change it so for that i'll go with the pivot options and select the pivot classic table which will give you the, a different altogether style which will use like department side name and it's to the side you get sale 2019 and sale 2020 this is how i can do it okay so i can remove i can remove the total 
and I can only keep the subtotals for all these things. And now, as a part of the table, to a table, I would like to do. I would like to do a merge of all because if you see in the first table, you see electronics, and below it has two blank cells. So which I would like to change it, which or else I would like to merge it. So that's why I am doing a copy paste of here into values, and then I will do a merge of that. So I am selecting the electronics as a department and clicking on the merge and center, so that it comes in overall of that. So now if you look at the screen, I mean I am able to see electronics. Then under it has a three names, which is Amar, David, and Gautam, and towards it says sales 2019 and sales 2020. And for electronics total, which are the sub heading sub total, I am making it as a sub merge and center. So the same line I will do for the, the next, which is furniture and garments also. So this would be easy for someone to look at the screen and able to understand in detail. So this is how we do the pivot in an Excel uh, by using different uh, categories. So I hope you are, are clear on this. If you have any kind of questions, you can reach out always to me. You can comment on my video. You can like if you like. Please give a like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much, all of you.